now let's move to the next question question number 64 if matrix a that is given to us and we have to find adjoint 3a square plus 12a so easier one just do it so we have been given the matrix a it is a 2 cross 2 matrix 2 cross 2 matrix that is 2 minus 3 minus 4 1 so firstly we need to square it that is a square a into a this value is going to come as so you can simplify this so the value is going to come as 16 minus 9 minus 12 and 13 and if we multiply with 3 that is 3a square it is going to become 48 the elements of the first row will become 48 minus 27 minus 36 39 this is the value of 3a square right now the value of 3a square plus 12a is equal to 12a means multiplying 12 with all the elements of the set a so it is going to come as 72 minus 63 minus 84 51 so this is the value of 3a square plus 12a and the adjoint of adjoint of 3a square plus 12a will be equal to we can write directly as we know that if we have any 2 cross 2 matrix then we can write down its adjoint by interchanging the elements of the principal diagonal and the elements in the another diagonal are multiplied with minus 1 so simply interchange the position of the principal diagonal elements and just multiply 1 over here so the correct answer to this question is option 1 easier one the correct answer is option 1 option 1 now let's move to question number 65 which is a very important question from J Main 2017 paper. It is given that if S is the set of distinct values of B for which the following system of linear equations has no solution, then S is. So we have been given a system of linear equations and one condition is imposed that they have no solution. So what is the first condition that we use? The first condition that we use is the value of the determinant should be equal to 0 for the coefficient matrix. So if we find the determinant of the coefficient matrix and equate to 0, we will be obtaining some results and let us see what we are going to obtain. If we use and equate to 0 we will be obtaining the value of a equals 1 right you have to simplify this determinant you can simplify this determinant and you will be obtaining a equals 1 now let us see what happens to the system of linear equations after putting the value a equals 1 that we have obtained by equating the determinant equals 0 so the equation that is the system of linear equations are going to be as follows the first equation x plus y plus z equals 1 second being x plus y plus z is equal to 1 let us mark it as equation 1 equation 2 and the lastly we have ax which is x plus by plus z equals 0 which is the third equation Clearly the first and the second equation they are identical. These two are identical equation. Identical. And basically Ax plus By plus Cz equals D. It represents the equation of the plane. So equation 1 and equation 2 which are identical 
and we need to find the value of b from equation third that is also equation of a plane so and we need no solution that means it is only possible when the third plane is parallel to one or two because one and two are identical so the third plane is parallel to one or two so it is only possible when the value of b is equal to one when the planes are parallel there exist no point of intersection which implies no solution so b equals one and we need to find the set s containing containing the distinct values of b so the set s will contain only one element that is one so the set s is a singleton set so set s is a singleton set so let us see which option is correct option 3 is correct that is a singleton set so let us mark it option 3